Okay folks, this is Dragon. This is the example of collar rot. Now this is a, um, a citrus tree, civil orange. Uh, it was planted oh, about 15 years ago, somewhere thereabouts. And it's never run, done very well in this particular spot here. And you'll find this in, in some places in a homesteading situation where soil types and consistencies will vary. Um, either very localized or on a much wider scale. Now this area here has it's a clay patch and um, we were mulching these trees back in uh, 2009, 2010 and 11 when we had, uh, particularly 2010 when we had rain after rain after rain, virtually week after week um, we found that the, um, the mulch and this is down the side of my yard with the heavy rains. Uh, once the soil became saturated, we're talking about soil moisture here. Hey old girl, what you doing? Um, the water started to run off the surface. Now both sides of my yard with very heavy rains uh, virtually becomes a natural water course. And I'm talking not just a dribble, I'm talking virtually a creek. What we found with the mulch that we put around these trees was that This side of the tree is facing uphill on, on my place. And where, where my dog is there, that's sloping downwards. So what we found was that uh, because of the way the water flowed, it was actually washing the mulch up against the trunk of the tree. So mulch uh, can work for you. Um, it's highly recommended for um, round trees, veggie gardens, that sort of thing. But it can work against you in situations where uh, you've got prolonged wet weather. And I'm not talking just a few days or a few weeks. Around here was virtually uh, over a year. So the water flowing down this way was washing the mulch up against the tree. And as I mentioned in a previous video, you've got to when you put mulch down, and it depends on the type of mulch you use too, the consistency, the density of it, how well it drains, and so on. But basically what happened was, um, washed up against this side of the tree, and you can see the result of it there. We've got collar rot. The tree is just just living, and in fact I'm gonna, gonna have to cut this one out. See further up here, the result of it, disease is set in. Um, just there, see if I can zoom in on it. So virtually this area around here is dead. So uh, that's that's a good example of um, collar rot. Also the fact that the, um, because there's a bit of a clay patch here, this tree has never really done very well. Um, even without the mulch, the soil was that wet around the dirt line of the tree here. Um, back a couple of years ago, and it's just rotted the tree out. And you'll probably find, if I dig down a little bit further, the roots are gone too. So, um, it's got a bit of fruit on it, this tree. But, um, yep, I'll pick this fruit off and this, this tree is going to have to come out. It's uh, beyond saving around the, the eastern side of the tree. Still enough bark and sap feed available, just barely keeping it alive and supporting the fruit. So, uh, this one's too far gone, much too far gone. Alright folks, thanks for watching.